Hi everyone, welcome to this vlog. It's just a very quick one to um, pass on our Christmas wishes to you and Pete, I'm going to hand over to Pete and he's just going to give you a quick view of how Christmassy we've become on Narrowboat Soulmates. Yeah, I'll show you the outside first. We took five hours to put up our LED lights. Bit of a nightmare. We had to wind halfway through to do the other side of the boat. But we got it sorted and then cruised to where we are now. So, let's go and have a look. She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is, is Vega. Vega. And this is Narrowboat Soulmates. More to explore. Well, here we are at Gurnet Aqueduct. And this is the result of the several hours we spent putting Christmas lights on the boat bit trickier to attach them to the boat than putting them on the walls inside but we got there in the end and it looks pretty good. I think Pete's just having a play with the modes. There's eight different settings you can have the lights flash on for and I think they stay on for six hours and automatically turn off for 18 unless we turn them off otherwise. So yeah that looks good. They'll be all right to leave on while we go to the pub and come back and see them still it up. Very happy with it. Let's go down the length of the boat. So we've got the white, warm white ones at the top and multicolored below, of course. And it looks like Pete's hanging some more on the pram cover. He's playing with the spares we had left. Are you putting the spares up? Yeah. You're putting the spares up, are you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just well for now. Looks pretty. <laughs> and here we are from the rear view. Pete's just put the spare lights that we had all over the top of the pram cover. Looks so, yeah. great. And that was eager barking. Ziggy sound, I want to see. <laughs> Wanting to know what we're doing out here without him. How dare we? Yes, I'll give you a quick look at Narrowboat Soulmates in its Christmas mood. Yes, Ali's had me putting up those decorations. I'm not too keen on that. I love them when they're up, of course, but doing the actual job, mm, I'd rather somebody else did, to be honest. But yeah, they're all up. So we're very festive. I'll just give you a quick look. Here we are in the saloon. That's up there. We've got some swans, of course. And we've got our multicolored LEDs that we always have along there, flashing away. Yeah, so what else have we got? Oh, we've got a Christmas tree. And who's that behind it? Ah, <gasps> yes, it's Ali. And she's wishing you a Merry Christmas. We've got these. We've got a giant one still in Australia somewhere. What are they called, Ali? Not crackers. Nut crackers, yeah. I've never been able to crack a nut with any of them, but yeah, that's what they're called. And we've got the Christmas tree. And there's a pile of presents, which might be mine. But they might be Ziggy's, I'm not quite sure. And there's Ali's presents over here. Yes, been a bit difficult, obviously, in lockdown not long ago. So we don't like going shopping. Oh, something there. Oh, it looks like Ziggy's present. Yes, it's an imitation squirrel, so I'm sure he's going to like that. What do you think? Definitely. Yeah, he Don't likes say it. say that word. Yeah, it's squiz, isn't it, Zig? Ah, <gasps> yes! He's so busy watching the snow globe. And we've got the wine and beer ready here. We've got the martini, which my dad used to always have, so we're going to continue that tradition. He always liked a martini asked here with his Christmas lunch, not that he ever really drunk. In fact, he didn't drink, but he used to have one of them every Christmas. We got the mulled wine ready to be warmed up. And he had a little present from um, Work Bolt. Which one? Alton, isn't it? Colbert Alton. Colbert Alton. Alton. Yeah, they gave us a little bit beer here from White Nancy. Yeah. Thanks, from, Brian and Anne-Marie. Yeah, from Bollington Breweries, I think it is. So... Yeah, that would be nice to taste because we like our craft beer, but we'll probably be drinking mainly wine. So, right. Give you a look at the tree. Oh, and 
she's got the goodies over there. <laughs> she's got the pork scratchings for herself and the limp for me, I'm hoping. But I think she likes those limp ones as well. So we'll see. So hopefully... Oh, not the moose. Yeah, it's the moose. Christmas moose. That Zig, out of Zig's yeah, Ziggy likes to grab hold of him and try and chew, but we, we have to resist that. You haven't said about the balloons. Oh, I'm not going to mention that <laughs> they are as deflated. Yeah, we didn't have inflation on our Christmas decoration there. We had deflation because the R wouldn't blow up because there was a problem with it. But it looks all right, doesn't it? We thought it was one balloon, but it was actually 14 and 11 balloons in. Pete found the R wouldn't inflate. Yeah. So it was too late then to change it. Ali said to me, oh, you can blow up this balloon. It's going to be say Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah, great. And then we saw it involved getting this straw which had come from China, so that's all I'm saying. And it wasn't paper, it was plastic, yes. But uh, yeah, it looks quite good, I reckon. Two days to go till Christmas, according to this, so it must be right. You're definitely right there, Santara. Yes, here I am, my Christmas uh, outfit. This is Hooli of the Rangers, the team I used to be player manager for many a moon ago and they're still going they're the old, oldest Sunday league team in Chester and we're still going yes and they support a charity every year two or three to be honest and this one they've come out and this is in aid of the share shock charity and we've got truly of the Rangers and a rain beer here yes because we do like our beer and that football team I can tell you Right, I'll hand over to Ali for the next section. So, on behalf of Pete and Ziga and myself on Narrowboat Soulmates, we just wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a much happier New Year. It's been tough times this year, but it's still gone really fast for us. We love being on our boat and we're really enjoying making vlogs keeping a diary of our travels and we're just so thrilled that we've reached 600 subscribers a couple of days ago so thanks to each and every one of you yeah thanks to those who've been with us from the start but all to those new ones lately as well and a big thanks as well to jack bayer because in his review of narrowboat blog of vloggers yeah he liked us quite a lot and give us some uh, very nice feedback on our vlog and that's always good to receive. We always like to have a comment from any of you out there. And uh, we'll try and improve them as we go along, of course. But yeah, all we can do now is, I think, wish you a very happy Christmas in these strange times that we are living. We've been pretty good all year with our food, but I think we're going to have a blowout over the next couple of days. We're looking forward to all those Christmas goodies. Yes, and Ziggy's got some treats as well. So... Look forward to you tuning into our cruising vlogs in the next few months. There's going to be plenty of them to be sure. So, hope you'll enjoy those. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, click the like button. And we'd love you to subscribe to our channel. Click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Take care out there. We'll see you next time.